Hey everyone, how about here? Bring a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the best teams on Global World Tournament Edition, and this is going to be for July 2023 and beyond. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So yes, I know the World Tournament has already started for Global, but I've been getting messages saying, hey, you know what? You haven't updated your World Tournament best teams in quite some time. And you're right. I haven't done one of these since November 2022. So it is about time for me to update this. So while I dive into this, we are celebrating the 45th World Tournament. And I'm not a huge fan of World Tournament. This is a a game mode that I wish they would update and do something different, but hey, you know what? There's a lot of rewards and I re recommend people actually go ahead and complete World Tournament so they can get all the, um, at least the full, the new units, the ability EZA, other units, and then uh, tickets to summon on, right? Now, the team that I'm gonna show first is a lot of people, when I'm live streaming and I start my World Tournament, they're like, what is this team that you're running? Generally, you run a different team and you're right. Majority I run my other team that I'm going to show you in a bit, but this team here is my beginning team because it's my team cost build. And if you guys don't know that team cost can provide you more points. So the more team cost, the more points that you can score uh, with each stage. Now, this really isn't all that beneficial if you're just going to complete the missions, but if you're going for like top 5,000, top 1,000, uh, every little bit of points counts and a lot of people run these types of teams where there's higher team costs versus I would say more, uh, in my opinion, more uh, dead brain easy type of world tournament teams. Uh, I prefer that because I'm generally doing other things when I'm playing world tournaments. So, um, so anyway, this is the team I run from two and a half X difficulty to about 15 or 20 X difficulty and then I switch over to my other team. And uh, generally I bring Captain Ginyu, easy at Captain Ginyu, or the Ginyu Force as my leader, and then I bring a bunch of AOE units uh, on top of that. That's all LRs, right? You wanna bring LRs on this team because it's gonna be the highest team cost. Uh, if you have, of course, the free-to-play LRs, that's 99 team cost. I have a bunch of uh, summonable ones on here, 77 team cost, which is gonna be absolutely fine. So, and you also can bring the free-to-play Goku as the leader because he's a support as well, or you can bring the Ginyu Force team and then you can bring the Goku there as well as a support unit. So, um, but anyway, this is the team. A lot of people ask me, hey, what is this team? This is the team that I bring the team cost build here. Uh, but I, I change, I change over from 20X to especially 30X here because again, I just don't want to die and I don't want to think about much when I'm doing World Tournament, just kind of rinse and repeat here. And I use the Chow Tzu and Jocko uh, team and what that is you're gonna bring these two SR units yes SR units because they have a hundred percent chance to stun all enemies for one turn and that's all you need uh, because you have that AOE unit you're gonna you know kill everybody and you just need that stun for one turn just in case someone's attacking that first spot this solves that issue this solves that problem so uh, what you're going to see here when I build my teams, I'm not going to show you Jocko or Chaozu. You assume that those two units are already on the team. So you're actually going to see five units here, uh, including the friend, and you're going to bring the other four units. And generally, I run a support unit. You don't have to run a support unit. You can bring another AOE unit if you like. Um, but I like support unit just to makes it a lot easier. I think it's kind of overkill to have more than four AOE units on the team. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and start with the team that everybody is probably playing right now, and that is the Piccolo Jr., the Mod Jr. World Tournament Piccolo team. And yeah, you must say that this is gonna be the best unit for World Tournament if you have him, right? That's gonna be the biggest uh, issue. And the reason why, the reason why this unit is so good is because of its active skill. So the active skill here, um, the condition to activate it, it can be activated when HP is 50% or, uh, or less, starting from the first, fourth turn, or when you're facing two or more enemies. And since World Tournament, you're always facing two or more enemies, you're able to do this active skill right away, which is the super exploding wave. And it massively raises the attack temporarily and causes mega colossal damage to all enemies. And then also disables an action just in case someone is alive that um, possibly attack you. Don't worry about that because that's already disabled. So yeah, it's pretty OP for World Tournament here. As long as you have them, you're gonna be running them and he's just gonna crush everything there. Now. 
If you don't want to run or maybe you don't have him and you want to run this unit maybe as a friend, you can bring other leaders that you can run than the Piccolo Jr. as a friend. Now you're not going to have two of them, which is you know not as valuable, but I would say uh, if you want to do that, you could bring a World Tournament category lead, Giant Form, Namekians, Terrifying Conquerors, Target Goku, uh, Final Trump Card, Revenge, Gifted Warriors already, um, Piccolo here. Uh, entrusted will where i chaos battle fate and earth bread fighter so those are the categories that piccolo jr is on so you can run other teams and just pick them up as a friend and still have them on there so uh but anyway yeah really really ridiculous uh unit that would just kill everybody in one shot don't worry about 30x they can have 40 or 50x and piccolo is just going to uh wipe those uh enemies out so the other new kid on the block that i want to talk about isn't really the best team that you can run but i just want to make at least an acknowledgement here is because it's a unit that i don't i'm not going to have i'm not going to run it but anyway typically you're going to be running uh, if you want to run a Super Boo uh, as a part of the World Tournament in 18 key, um, you're able to attack all. Now, that's the problem with Super Super Boo. You have to get to 18 key. But generally, if you're going to run him with LR Buhan, uh, you're going to have a lot of key, kind of some additional support there. You're going to link very well because you have other boos uh, on the team. And yeah, running margin power, uh, power absorption should be no problem to get to 18 key, but you will have some inconsistencies at times, especially if you're going to be running with uh, uh, Chaozu and Jocko. Sometimes that rotation, you might find both of them on the same rotation and you can't get to 18 key. So again, that's where the inconsistency comes in. I don't recommend it, but it is a new unit that I would then at least recommend for you to uh, run if you want to have some fun at the lower levels or something of that nature. So those are the two new teams that you can uh, talk about. But I do want to talk about the best team I still think is uh, in contention. And that is the Strength LR Broly team that we've been running for I don't know how many years. You're right. Forever and forever. So Old Faithful here. Um, that also got an upgrade because we're able to easy a the Super Saiyan Broly. Now the Super Saiyan Broly has now um, you know boosted up and... Uh, and that unit alone can do quite a bit of damage. Um, so also you're going to be bringing two of the Broly's. Now the thing about Broly, the STR Broly, it is not self-sufficient. You're going to need another um, character as the leader to make him better. Because if you ran STR Broly as the leader, you're only going to get his his boost. Was that 100%? Whatever that is. You want to get at least 150 or above. Uh, you know, Preferably 170 to even 200. And with Movie Boss's full power, you're getting, you know, you're getting you know a really really strong boost here and um of course you're bringing some a good support unit like turles turles is on a bunch of te teams that you can run for support here and uh this team just rocks this team has really good efficiency uh, you really never have key issues uh, you have an orb changer and boo so it's just all around i still think it's the best efficient most efficient team that you can run but piccolo jr uh if you have him and you can find the friend, right? That's going to be probably going to be the best, biggest issue is finding the friend of Piccolo, uh, of Piccolo Jr. versus like everybody, you know, seems seemingly has STR Broly now, right? Um, so in my opinion, uh, best team is in between the Piccolo Jr. and the Super Saiyan um, Broly with the STR Broly's on here. Now, again, if you don't have um, the the physical EZA Super Saiyan Broly, you have other teams you can run with um, with two. Um, strength Broly's, right? Easy Broly's. You can run it with uh, Cooler. You can run even run it with Raditz. Hey, there's a reason to run it with Raditz because Raditz can also do AOE as well. So that's actually a pretty decent team overall. Um, but again, uh, I do have, you might as well run it this, then you run with Raditz. Uh, so again, that is uh, generally the option. So uh, it's, it's kind of weird that I built it that way. Then you also have LR Gods as an option. You can run, uh, you run all these other options as well. I think I have Raditz on here twice. But if you don't want to run STR Broly, of course, there's other options you can run. There's more STR Broly teams that you can run. There's a lot. There's a lot you can run. But there's some other weird teams that you can run with here. We, with Cell, we already talked about Super Boo. Um, you can even w run without any of those units and still, uh, you know, 
ultimately still complete world tournament. But all, but, uh, all in all, I think um, that the two teams I'm showing here, the Broly team and the, uh, the Piccolo team, those are going to be your best teams, at least the best two teams, in my opinion, that you can run. Uh, Boo is not on the list. Like I said, Boo is just here for honorable mention as a new as a new unit. So best Piccolo Jr. or the Broly team, and uh, you'll you'll make this easy. It's easy mode, right? So. Uh, so with that, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and this update here. If you want more details about the other teams that I just kind of quickly threw, go ahead and look at the November 2022 edition. It will go into more details there. Uh, and any of those teams are still viable f uh, today. So f so with that, in, uh, with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconning, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Later.